here is how you can enable two-factor authentication with Bitwarden. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to make sure you're logged in to Bitwarden. After doing that, you come up here, click on this, and next you click on account settings. All right, so you can see some options over here. So you want to click security, and then you click two-step login. Now, before you begin, you should read this warning because whatever happens, if you lose your two-factor authentication method, you will not be able to access Bitwarden anymore. They are not going to help you access your account again. So best be careful. You don't forget your password for your authenticator app. All right. So after reading this, if you want to continue, then you can come down here. You can see there are different ways to set up two-factor authentication. But the one I recommend is this first method. You can either use Authy or Google Authenticator. So I have made many tutorials on both of them. But for this video, I'm going to be using this one. So I'm going to load it up here by just clicking this. I've made a video on how you can set it up on your computer. So you can watch that video. You can also do the same on your phone, but I'm using my computer to do it because my phone does not allow me to capture this authenticator software. So that's why I have to use my computer. Okay, so this is the software loaded up. I'm going to minimize it for now. And then I'll click manage on Bitwarden. So it's going to ask me for the password of my Bitwarden account. I'm going to enter the password. After that, I'll click continue. All right, so Bitwarden is giving some options here. If you're using an iOS device, you click here to download the app. Android users should click here. If you're using a Windows device, you can also use Microsoft Authenticator. Maybe I'll make a separate video for this Authenticator. But since we're already sure the one I want to use, which is this one. So all you have to do is just copy this code. So I'll click copy. And please note that this code should not be visible to anyone and this QR code as well should not be visible to anyone except you. The reason why I'm leaving it visible is because I'll be doing this again so this one will not be usable anymore after I create a new one. So for you, you're only going to do this once. Anyway, so after you've copied this code down here, then you head over to the software you're going to be using. I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch the video on how to set it up. So after you have set it up on your computer, you need to click on this plus button and then you enter the code you copied from Bitwarden. So I'm just going to paste it. It's the same code. Then I'll click add account. It is going to ask you to pick a logo so you can easily recognize it. Let's see if I can search for Bitwarden. Well, I've gone through the list and I can't find an icon for Bitwarden. So I'm just going to click this blue one because Bitwarden is blue. After that, you can leave this the way it is and click save. So you can see it has created a six digit code and there's a timer running out right now. So all you have to do is just click here to copy the code. If the timer runs out, you can wait and this a new code will be generated over here. So after the new code is generated, let's just wait for a new code to be generated. Okay, so it should be generated in three, two, one, zero. So a new code has been generated. All you need to do is just copy the code by clicking here. You see it says copied to clipboard and then you paste it here. Then you click turn on. So it says turned on. Two-step verification has been turned on. So all I have to do now is just close this and close it from here or down here. So I'll close it from down here. So as you can see, this one has been checked, which means I have two-step verification turned on. So if I log out and try to log in again, it's going to ask me for the code. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to log out. I just entered my email, click continue, and then I'll enter the password. So after entering the password, I'll click login. So as you can see now, it is asking me to enter my six digit verification code from the authenticator app. So all I have to do is just open this one and you can see the timer has run out. So I have to wait for a new code to be generated. You can see Bitwarden over here. Now I'll just click here, copy it, and then I'll paste it here and click continue. So now I have access to my Bitwarden account. So as I've said, if you forget the password or if you don't have access to your authenticator app or software anymore, then you can't have access to Bitwarden and all your passwords will be gone. Bitwarden will not be able to help you access your passwords again. So please, as you're creating this, make sure you have backups so that um, you don't lose your authentication method. And to back up your authentication code, you just come here to account settings then security and two-step verification. If you followed my steps, then you are most likely using this one. So you click manage and this is the code down here. So with this code, you'll be able to log into any authenticator app. And then once you just impute this code, 
it's going to generate the six digit code that you need to access your account again so make sure you keep this code safe like i said don't let anyone know about this code i'll be creating a new code after making this video so this one will become irrelevant so that's how you do it if you have questions concerning the process please let me know like i said if you want to know how to use this software then i've created a video on it so you can get to start using it if you already have codes down here and you want to create a new one you just need to click on this plus button remember when we started the plus button was in the middle but now it is up here so if you want to you just click here and then you enter the code if you found the video helpful please give it a like subscribe for more videos like this and ask me any questions you may have i'll be seeing you in the next video take care and bye bye